I received hundreds of comments on the abscess opening videos. I made today's video to try to address your most frequently asked questions. So let's start with the most frequent one. Why it got that big? Is it a case of neglect? Why you have to wait so long? In order to answer this, we have to know firstly about the process of abscess formation. An abscess in a cow forms when bacteria enter the body through a wound, cut, or other entry points like injection sites. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of how it happens. One, entry of bacteria. Bacteria such as Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, and Coronibacterium can enter the cow's body through wounds, skin abrasions, or contaminated equipment. Two, infection. Once inside, the bacteria multiply and cause an infection in the surrounding tissue. Three, inflammatory response. The cow's immune system responds to the infection by sending white blood cells to the area to fight off the bacteria. Four, pus formation. The accumulation of dead bacteria, white blood cells, and tissue debris forms pus. Five, abscess development. The body tries to isolate the infection by forming a pocket of pus, which is the abscess. Abscesses can be painful and cause swelling, heat, and redness in the affected area. They often require veterinary intervention to drain and treat the infection. It's important to address these abscesses promptly to prevent them from growing too large and causing more discomfort or complications for the cow. So why those abscesses can grow that large? Sometimes abscesses in cows get so large, especially if the infection is severe and the body continues to accumulate pus. So before calling it neglect, here are some reasons why it can get that large. First of all, I am an on-call vet. I consult milking and fattening farms in the radius of 50 kilometers. I deal with the cows when the farmer calls and present the animals with specific complaint. So in most cases, before the farmer calls, I do not know that the cow is sick. But it is not always the fault of the farmer, as we will see. Secondly, sometime the content of the abscess is not yet mature. Ripening is a term often used in veterinary medicine to describe the process of an abscess maturing. This means the abscess is reaching the point where it can be drained. The ripening stage is when the pus has accumulated and the abscess is fully formed, usually ready for incision and drainage. It's like nature's way of making sure things are ready before the big moment. It means that the pus and the capsule are not well formed yet. If open like this, the abscess will bleed and it will not heal properly. So we have to give the cow antibiotics and painkillers and apply ichthyol ointment on the abscess to fasten the process of maturation and wait. Thirdly, sometimes it's short that big. Due to rapture owes a blood vessel causing a hematoma, the bacteria kick in afterwards transforming the whole thing into an abscess. Fourthly, the type of bacteria. Some bacteria are able to penetrate the capsule enlarging the abscesses to huge sizes. You call that a septic? Although it is not a sterile operating room like in human surgery, we still have to minimize the bacterial load as possible. We call that aseptic and not sterile. The exploration needle is too small to evacuate the abscess. The needle aims only to test the contents in order to know if the abscess is already mature or not. I did not aim to evacuate that huge sac with that small needle. The opening was not at the most lower part, and it was too big. As I already explained, the mixture in the abscess digests the living and dead cells in the cavity with the purpose to find an exit to the outside. On the surface of every abscess, there will be a small area of skin where it feels harder and is less vascularized and less innervated, almost a spot of dead skin. While it is optimal to open the abscess at the most lower part, sometimes the spot of dead tissue where the abscess want to open naturally um, is not exactly at the most lower part. So we try to open at it and gow downward. The problem is sometimes the most lower part consists of living tissue, so it is more painful to the animal and it will cause more bleeding to open there. Did you apply local anesthesia? We apply a general sedation before the procedure and analgesics like meloxicum afterwards. Local anesthesia will have minimal effect here because of the low innervation. As I mentioned, it is almost a spot of dead skin. Will you close the wound? One of the surgery basics, we do not close on a cavity, we do not close on an infection. Here, we have both. We allow the abscess to heal from inside to outside and meanwhile exudating whatever secretions are produced. In this, why we apply the drain? Why not use conservative treatment instead of surgery? The thick capsule will prevent antibiotics to penetrate to the depth of the abscess. Besides, the core of the abscess has no blood vessels, so the medicaments will not reach the abscess center anyways. 
why the cow is too skinny. Those cows are aimed to produce milk. Some of them give up to 70 kilogram milk a day. Can you imagine the amount? They have high metabolic rates and they burn most of energy on producing this amount of milk. Other cow breeds may have more meat and fat, but they would not give that amount of milk like the Holostein Frisian cows. Would that have happened on pasture? Whether on pasture or in stables, cows are equally at risk factors to have an abscess. While cows on pasture are generally exposed to more natural conditions, they can be at higher risk for injuries from uneven terrain, leading to cuts and infections. However, good pasture management, such as regular hoof trimming and providing clean, dry areas, can help reduce this risk. Cows in stables may have a lower risk of physical injuries, but can be more prone to infections due to higher stocking densities and potential for contaminated equipment or bedding. Proper hygiene, regular cleaning, and ensuring adequate space can help mitigate these risks. Would the cow have had that abscess if the stables were cleaner? Well, it is one of the cleanest farms I visit, and I consult them for over five years now, as we can notice. The stable is not crowded, the floor is clean, and have those openings which leads to the biogas plant connected to the farm, so you do not need a bucket. Besides, the lying boxes are cleaned twice a day and covered wood shaving mixed with light disinfecting powder to ensure comfort and hygiene dot for the cows. Well, I hope that have answered some of your questions. If you have more questions, feel free to write them down in the comments. I will be glad to answer them. Thank you for stopping by. If you like our content, please subscribe and share.